Thugger Thugger One, you recognize that Instagram handle? Yes. And that's Mr. Williams or Jeffrey's Instagram handle? Yes. And then um, I'd like to go to the photograph, if you don't mind. Yes. Do you recognize the person in that photograph? Yes. And who is that person? Jeffrey. Okay. And is Jeffrey wearing, um, or is he looking at something? Yes. And what does it appear to be looking? What does he appear to be looking at? His phone. Okay. And then someone took a picture? Yes. All right. With regards to um, Mr. Williams, number 35, I'd like you to focus on the chest area of Mr. Williams. You see over the uh, white and black shirt, you see a uh, pendant? Yes. And what does that pendant say on it? Well, I feel. And is that similar to what you described earlier? Yes. And is that something that Jeffrey all the time promotes for his business? Objection, Your Honor. Um, one compound to speculation. Yes. I, I stand objection. Is that something Jeffrey all the time promotes? Yes. And is that his record label? Yes. Okay. Does he sing about it? Oh, hold on. Basis. Speculation as to what Mr. Yeah, I'll, I'll stand objection. Okay. Is uh, is that what Jeffrey sings about those YSL? Yes. And is it his record label? Objection, Your Honor. Again, as to the state of mind of Mr. Williams and what he intends to convey. I'm not asking for a state of mind. I'm asking for a fact. Is YSL Mr. Williams' record label? Yes. Now, the fact that YSL is a record label owned by Mr. Williams. I would object not to speaking okay, objections. Right, both of you. I'm going to sustain the objection. Let's move on. Yeah. All right. I don't know if Mr. Kokomo um, can do it, but do you see on the right shoulder, if you can send, make that enlarger, Mr. Kokomo, thank you very much. Do you see a uh, tattoo with a, uh, what I would say, a B and a uh, red color? Do you see that? Yes. Okay. And um, is that similar to tattoos that you've seen other artists have? Yes. And um, do you know specifically when Mr. Williams got that tattoo? No. I'd like you to then go down. Mr. Kokomo is going to have to um, make this smaller. And that the, we'll go to the words at the bottom. You see the first line of words, like by, I'll say, Lil Meech BMF and 300, 311 plus thousand other people. Yes. And that's the same explanation you gave the jurors. Yes. People can like things or dislike things. Right? Yes. And then it says on the next line, thugger thugger one pissed, quote unquote the P, P ever, right? All right. And then viewed by or view comments, that's what you described earlier, people can comment. Yes. And that could be strangers, right? Fans, whatever. And this is uh, February 12, 2022. If you know, if you don't know, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what year it's like. It's February 12th, though. Okay. It got to be 2022. Why do you say it has to be 2022? Because that's when the whole, uh, that, that's when he was promoting the song, Pushing P. Okay. And we're going to use something now to assist on that, too. Can you use that indictment, which is 23U, should still be in front of you? And if you could turn to Overt Act number 168, if you don't mind. <coughs> Yeah. And what date is the prosecution alleging in count one over at act number 168? The same, oh, February 12, 2022. Okay. Same date, February 12th, 2022, correct? Yeah. And then in that um, allegation, do you see where the prosecution um, alleges the YSL, the chain? Yes. As an overt act. Yes. And that Jeffrey has a B on his right shoulder. That's the crime overt act, right? Right. Anything else in there that I missed because I'm not looking at the indictment? No. That's everything? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you.